Spring of copper thefts across Eugene has neighbors shocked and upset after dealing with long internet outages. But selling stolen wiring is not that easy. And KZI 9 news reporter Noah Chavez shows us how metal recyclers are on the lookout for potential stolen metal across the state. You know, his basic words were, they're stealing it faster than we can fix it. CenturyLink confirmed that over the past two weeks, Eugene has seen over 30 copper thefts leading to lengthy internet outages. Uh, it was real close to two weeks. So probably 12, 13 days. Copper is valued um, the highest of copper, brass, aluminum, stainless radiators, and it's, it's uh, widely used. Jay Burcham is the owner of Burcham's Metal Inc. in Albany. He says before 2008, it was a challenge identifying metal materials that were possibly stolen. If it's something that we deem suspicious, it just doesn't look right. Perhaps that's a lot of volume uh, for one person. I, I don't know, maybe there's a red flag. Times have certainly changed since 2008 when the state of Oregon approved major changes to the metal recycling industry to help reduce metal thefts. It is a substantial change, a substantial difference. Um, but uh, it still goes on but nothing like it was. Some of the changes included a mandatory three-day waiting period on payments to help victims of metal thefts get the needed police investigation. And they can contact other agencies, other departments, and other cities, which they have done. Coming up on KZI 9 News at 6, I'll show you what both residents and metal recyclists alike hope to see improved upon to reduce metal thefts across the state. Reporting in Eugene, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News.